On page 23 is an example of an anterior wall MI. And um, what probably strikes you right off the bat is that um, this is a tachycardic rhythm, which is kind of interesting. Um, so if we look at the heart rate for this, um, let's see here. Um, this QRS falls in a dark line, so the heart rate here is 300, 150. So heart rate of 150 right off the bat, that's quite a fast rhythm. And um, this is a patient in his 30s who's a cocaine user. And it's not uncommon for um, patients who abuse cocaine to um, develop uh, severe heart disease at a very early age. Um, but in any case, let's go through this uh, systematically as we did with the last one. So we'll look at the leads and groupings again, looking at uh, leads 2, 3, and AVF. And one of the other things I should mention about um, the 12 lead, which I neglected to mention before, is you'll notice that uh, between the leads uh, are these lines that uh, divide the leads. I mention these only because um, from time to time these dividing lines will alter the P wave or QRS morphology and so um, you may look at um, one of these areas where the uh, leads divide and think that there's a, a, an ectopic beat or something but it's just artifact. So if we look at 2, 3 and AVF um, I don't see any SD elevation in lead 2. Um, lead 3 it's kind of difficult to say uh, I don't see any ST elevation in AVF so we can rule out uh, an inferior wall MI then we'll look at the anterior leads, and if we look at uh, V1, there's just a little bit of ST elevation there, probably about a millimeter. Um, V2, here's the baseline, there's the J point, definitely a at least a couple of mill millimeters of ST elevation. V3, here's the baseline, there's the J point. V4, here's the baseline, here is the uh, J point. So, uh, Clearly, we have um, not just an anterior wall MI here, but we have an anterior lateral wall infarct. Um, V5, uh, a little more difficult to say, not entirely sure, but V6, there's clearly no ST elevation, so we can rule out a lateral wall infarct. So this is a patient with an anterior septal wall infarct.